Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael and you're watching IDB. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best features in iOS 16 that not that many people know about. So hopefully at the end of this video, you'll know how to use iOS 16 a lot better and you can make your iPhone a lot more useful for you. So let's go ahead right now and jump in. Number one is inside of Apple Music and whenever you're playing a track, if you go to your home screen and then go into Spotlight Search, you're gonna see that the artist of the currently playing song shows up here. So this is useful if you're listening to, for example, a random playlist on Apple Music and you like the song and you wanna learn more about the artist, all you have to do is click on this card and you can learn more about the artist or band that made that track. So a really useful hidden feature. Next up, this one has to do with the long-term battery health of your iPhone. And if you ever try to charge your iPhone when it's too hot, there's now a new alert that you're gonna see on your lock screen. So for example, if you left your iPhone in your car on a hot summer day and then immediately tried to plug it in, you're gonna see this alert pop up saying charging on hold, charging will resume when iPhone returns to normal temperature. So it's not healthy for batteries inside of smartphones to receive a charge when they are too hot. It can severely degrade the battery health of your iPhone. So I think this is a feature a lot of people are going to appreciate. The next feature is inside of Notes and it's a new feature called Smart Folders. So if you click the icon on the bottom left corner to create a new folder, we now have the option to turn it into a smart folder. So what is this? Well, this is pretty much a folder that is going to do the sorting for you based on certain filters that you set up. So for example, if I only wanna have notes that were created in the last week, I can choose the created by filter and choose in the last seven days. And you can add as many filters as you can see here into this smart folder. If I click on done, it adds the smart folder right into my list and you can see it automatically added four notes right into that smart folder because I created four notes in the last week. So this is a pretty cool feature inside of Apple Notes. The next feature has to do with marking up your screenshots. And to be honest with you, I don't know if this is new in iOS 16, but it's new to me. I literally just learned this the other day and it completely changes the way I'm gonna mark up my screenshots from now on. If I go ahead and take one right here, you're probably already familiar with all of these tools at the bottom of the screen that allow you to draw on your screenshot. But you can actually make perfect shapes if you keep your finger held on the screen for a few seconds. So if I wanna have a perfect circle, all I have to do is draw a circle and keep my finger held down and you can see it turns it into a perfect circle. It also works with other shapes. So if I wanna draw an arrow, if I keep my finger held on the screen, it's gonna turn it into a perfect arrow. So this feature definitely makes your screenshots look a bit more clean. So staying inside of the screenshot UI, if you click the done button on the top left, there's now a new option in iOS 16 to copy and delete the screenshot. If you click on this, it's going to delete it, but it's also gonna copy it to your clipboard and allow you to paste it somewhere else. So this is useful if you only use your screenshot one time and you don't want it to be saved into your photos. So the next feature is a pretty small one, but it can allow you to free up a little bit more space on your iPhone. So iOS 16 now allows you to remove even more stock applications. So we can now remove the Find My application and the Health application. If I click on the Remove icon, you can see we now have the option to completely delete the application. And once iOS 16.1 comes out to the public, you'll also be able to delete the Wallet app as well. This next feature, I think a lot of you are going to love this. So whenever you have a pair of Beats or AirPods connected to your iPhone, they're immediately gonna show up now at the top of the settings application. The previous behavior in iOS 15, for example, is you would have to go into Bluetooth settings and click this little icon next to your headphones to see your headphone settings. But now in iOS 16, it's a lot easier. So whenever you have a pair of Beats or AirPods connected, the preferences for those headphones live right at the top of settings. The health app in iOS 16 now supports a new feature called the medication reminders. So for example, if you have a prescription that you have to take every single day, you can now add that into iOS 16's health app and it can remind you when it's time to take your pills. So if I open up health here, if I click the browse icon on the bottom right corner, we now have a new option right here called medications. If I click on this, you can see here is our schedule and we can add a medication. So I'll just add a random name. I'll go through the setup process with you. I'll choose it's a capsule and then we'll say we're gonna take two of them and let's choose milligrams. We'll say we'll take it every day and let's say 545. And then we can also choose an icon here. I'll choose this one. We can also change the color. Let's keep it as the default. 
and then it adds it to our calendar right here. So it shows our upcoming medications. You can add as many of these as you want. I really do think this is gonna be a huge feature for a bunch of people. So the next feature is inside of the clock application. And now in iOS 16, whenever you start a timer, you're able to see the live activity of this timer on your lock screen. So because I have the iPhone 14 Pro, whenever I swipe up to my home screen, I'm able to keep track of my timer right up here in the island. But if you don't have the 14 Pro, you can also see your timer right on the lock screen. You also have the option to pause it right here if you want. So this is a lot better than the behavior in iOS 15, where you couldn't really check the status of your timer unless you opened up the application itself. So iOS 16 makes it a lot easier to keep track of your ongoing timers. This next feature may be my favorite of the entire video. So I am a huge advocate of health and fitness and I'm always recommending people to get up and get a little bit of physical activity in their day. So new in iOS 16, the fitness app is now installed on all iPhones. And that is because you can now close your move ring even if you don't have an Apple Watch. So if you wanna close the exercise or stand ring, you do need an Apple Watch, but now every single iPhone user has access to the move ring. So it's gonna use the various sensors inside your iPhone to track your movement and also your steps. It allows you to set up a calorie goal and you can try to close your move ring every single day. So this is a great feature. I didn't really like how Apple was limiting this to only Apple Watch users. So now every single day you can have a little bit of motivation from your iPhone to get a bit of activity. The final feature I'm gonna show you is inside of settings and then privacy and security. If you scroll all the way down, there is a new option in iOS 16 called lockdown mode. So this says lockdown mode is an extreme optional protection that should only be used if you believe you're gonna be personally attacked by a cyber attack. So if you work for the government and you have a whole bunch of classified information on your phone, you may wanna use this. Also, if you're just a highly paranoid individual and you feel like you're gonna get hacked, you may also wanna use lockdown mode, but it's kind of a cool feature. I don't know how many people are going to use it, but it is nice that it is here. So that's gonna do it for this video. As I said at the beginning, now you should be able to use your iPhone a lot better, and hopefully now you can get the most out of iOS 16. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it, and also head down into the comments and tell me what your favorite feature was that I covered in this video. My name is Michael with IDB. I'll see you next time.